Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo! He might call you Jedi. And not in lunch. Hey, wait a minute. Gag them! We just commercial. gag them! Y'all see that? Both no, Jed and, <laughs> and Diane, bro. Gag the oh hell out God, of them, it's bro. Still the commercial. As you see, I am not dead. Yeah. Jeez, Rick. Yeah. Oh, my God. So I got some things stuff. to you say. Jed Lucan, your time has come. What's going on, YouTube? K-Rob here bringing you episode five, the last chapter of Life is Strange True Colors. Thank y'all so much for all the love and support that y'all have been showing me on this channel and on this series. I highly appreciate every single one of y'all. Little recap on what happened in the last chapter, bro. We got our kiss from Steph, y'all, uh, the Spring Festival. I got arrested. I got arrested. I signed the affidavit uh, because my homies were getting in trouble as well. So me being a nice person, um, I signed it. I signed the affidavit and was like, yo, like let my homies free. You know what I'm saying? This got nothing to do with them. And um, yeah, a lot of y'all in the comment section were telling me that uh, I'm very bold for, for doing that because a lot of people didn't sign it. And now I was thinking like, dang, Maybe I didn't do the right thing. Like I was sitting laying in bed with my arms behind my back look, looking at the ceiling, bro. I was just staring at the ceiling like, dang, I really suck at these choice-based games. Like, <laughs> But no, y'all, I appreciate y'all so much once again. And without further ado, let's jump right into chapter five. Chapter five, side B. Dang, chapter one, we started with side A. Now we ended with side B. That's cold. Hey, that's cold. You know what I'm saying? Deck nine, you're on to something right there. That was cool. That was cool. And it starts off like the first episode. That's cool. That's cool. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Bro. Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? Wait, what? The meaning of home? Not to be afraid of my emotions? Nothing? I'm gonna go and not be, not be afraid of my emotions. We face our fears and stuff like I that, you know? We're on that type feel. of vibe. I guess. And to not be afraid of those feelings. Wait, I'm kind of... Hold up. Couldn't one argue that those old fears turned out to be justified? Um... What do you make of that friction? Dang, Doc. That's a good question. Shoot, I gotta think about it. D didn't I get shot? <sighs> I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. What the heck? Got to kiss a pretty girl. That's a but W. Give me, give me some, give me some. Where you started. Nah, you're wrong. What the? Who is it? Who are you trying to tell me about my life? You walk you're in wrong. my shoes every day? I don't belong in here. Right, hold on, hold on, Alex. Don't let her, don't if let her that cage were you up. true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. What? They got that cute ass dog on the wall, bro. What the hell? That's crazy how that just happened, the though. Fuck. Okay, y'all did tell me that this um. This episode is very, very, it has like trauma, right? Like, like, like we go through Alex's childhood and stuff like that. So y'all were warning me about that. But it's crazy though, because every time I hear Life is Strange now from someone or like someone's just talking about it randomly, I just get these little twitches, bro. Cause it's like, it's like, ooh, like, like a heartstring just got pulled, bro. How are you feeling today? And it's pictures of Alex. That is crazy. What? The guitar case? Wait, let me see what this says. Bro, it's all pictures of her. What? Is that what I look like? Really? Oh my goodness. Okay, guitar case. Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, knock. She's like, huh, we're playing games here, huh? Let me play. Who's there? Um, Alex Chen. What? 
never My heard of her. Try again. Has never heard of me. Sure. My own guitar case is egoing me. What? Huh? That's crazy. Just open it up. Who? Who? Oh, it's a combo on it. Okay. So there's a combo somewhere that we can, that we have to find. Okay. Folder. Oh, we about to find some type of deep lore from Alex, bro. We about to find some deep lore. Some lore they've been keeping from us. Me. What? Case number five three three two two. Case number five three three two two. Okay. And we can open it. Name Alexandra Alex Chen. Age twenty one. Gender female. Uh, symptoms, emotional instability, occasional violent outbursts, hallucinations, visual, hallucinations, oral, delusional ideation, depression, anxiety, diagnosis. Bro, what? Thrown down a... what? Wait, I was to say, uh, Alex experiences a detailed and robust delusion that she is able to read other people's emotional states and believes that because of this ability, she is uniquely equipped to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. It's difficult to overlook the irony. Someone as profoundly dysfunctional as Alex adopting the role of emotional caretaker. Had she not been returned to my care, I do not think it hyperbolic to speculate that her reckless attempts at fixing her friends and family would eventually have gotten someone hurt. It's my belief that Alex's delusions constitute a threat to her continued well-being as well as those of others. As such, I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit, her body shattered against each jutting board and rent brick, until she is forgotten in the darkness beneath the world. This is, in my professional opinion, the most humane thing we can do for her. Bro, who wrote this? Who got this much beef with me, bro? It sounds like somebody like Jed. It sounds like somebody like Jed who wrote this, bro. Listen, Jed, I'm not really messing with how you treated the whole situation right there, bro. Putting a pistol to me? Putting a pistol to my back like that? Like you knew we were homies, bro. It's just something really deep down inside, y'all, that really just, it just pains me to see that Jedediah Luke was the one that betrayed me. Let me talk to you real quick, Jed. Let me remind you too, bro. You were the hometown hero. You were the person that saved these people. You are the godfather of Haven Springs, bro. You are the chosen one. You were supposed to destroy Typhon, not join them. Bring balance to Haven Springs, not leave it in darkness. But you know what? Hey, man, they were showing so many signs of his downfall throughout the entire chapter. Y'all were peeping, bro. And I, I was peeping it too. But y'all know, like, when you kind of want to, like, you know, you don't want to believe it. And then, like, once you start to believe it, it's a little too late. Yeah, that's literally what happened to me. Bro, it just got a little too late. I should have known after that whole LARP situation that they, they were on that type of timing, bro. But I didn't want to think it was the homie Jebediah Lucan. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know that. Okay, we got a tape recorder here now. Okay, let me see what we got in here. Oh, y'all. Okay, we're good though. Ago, we're here. I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you, you can't undo. So he wasn't a hero after all, bro. I hate that it had to be you, Jed. I know Dr. Lin is like a therapist, but like, I don't know, bro. She on that manipulation type of deal. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I don't. I just want to have random beef with someone, so I just chose Dr. Lin. I, I didn't like how Dr. Lin was like talking to us, but that's probably like all in Alex's head. And now here I go gaslighting Alex. You know what, Alex? My fault. I'm, I didn't mean. No way. They got my family photos posted up on the wall like this. Wait a minute. These don't belong to Dr. Lin. It's definitely not. Yeah, this is not real, bro. This is all cap. Stop the cap. This is all cap. Stop the cap. Tuning peg. Tuning peg. Oh, I can use my phone in here? I didn't, bro, I wasn't even thinking about using my phone. In light of all the recent excitement, now is a good time to remind Helping Hands residents that impulses to leave our institution, while understandable, are best resisted. Remember, the outside world is sharp-toothed and possessed of an insatiable hunger. And you are soft and slow and appetizing. Why throw yourself into its mouth? Throw yourself 
instead into mine. Yeah, this ain't, um, Dr. Lin is kind of scary. I'm not sure if I should be calling you a doctor or just Lin. I don't even, like, is that your real title? I don't understand. Is she over here texted again three different times, bro? How did I even get back here? Attention residents, please join me in welcoming Alex Chen back to Helping Hands. We're happy, though not surprised, that Alex has once more submitted herself to the saltifying and inescapable embrace of our institution. And look, the poster had the sable replies, like, Dr. Lin don't want to see me for real. Where is Dr. Lin? I'm tired of all these dreams and stuff. Obviously, if you're having this many dreams about the person, you just got to have a one-on-one -on -one fight with them. They, like, Dr. Lin has to see Alex Chen in the ring or something, bro, because this is too much. Dr. Lin, I saw one missing patient answers to Alex. She was always scratching at the door trying to get out, but she's declawed. So her capacity to fend for herself is minimal. If spotted, please exercise caution when approaching. She will appear friendly and normal, but we've had some behavioral issues in the past. Please help me find my patient. I'm starting to get really, really worried. And look, disable the replies again, bro. Look, okay, I'm seeing, I'm peeping the little pattern going on here. Alex is, is trapped. She is literally... She's trapped and she is in a cage, bro. She feels like she's being controlled. Taking in all those emotions, bro, it has to like, it has to bounce around in your emotions somewhere too, bro. So like you're taking in all this stuff. This gotta be very unhealthy. At the end of the day, bro, taking people's emotions is an unhealthy, bro. It's unhealthy to you. Like some people can do it, I get it. But like, if you're also going through a tough time in your life too, you don't have to play that role for somebody, bro. I promise you don't have to play that role. But if you're okay with playing that role, by all means, bro, I feel like everyone should have that type of person they could just lean on and be like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm having a tough day. And that person be like, hey, it's cool. I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? That type of that type of relationship with someone is very important. But I get both sides, you know what I'm saying? It's not for everybody. All right, so we got some new things we can go over. Uh, we have, let me go ahead and see what was that combo again. It was five, three, three, two, two. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? I got you. Five, three, three, two, two. I think she's gonna put it in. Oh, never mind. I put it in. <laughs> You're right. I will do the honors. Five. Wait, was it two, two, three, three? Here we go. Boom. Let's get it. What's inside? They want me to play a song, right? Get, get me. A... Of course. I don't know why I thought once she opened it, it was gonna be like a portal to somewhere else. I. I play too much fantasy. I'm not gonna lie. I guess I just, I I just play it. All right, let's let's go. I'm the I'm hell? into it. Can't play oh, if I can't oh, tune. The picture, the picture. This is what it was for. And she's gonna grab it out of the. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, Alex. I don't know what you and Steph were. Oh wait, wait. Never mind. Y'all, you and Steph weren't doing anything because you got shot into a pit. I can't even make that joke because I literally saw you fall down the entire pit, bro. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all, let's fix, fix the guitar. I think this guitar is her happy place too. This is like something that she can like escape from the real world activity she got going on. And it's something to remind her of her brother as well. Cause y'all know like they, they like music too. So her, I know she really loves her brother and her brother really loved her. And they were all they had, bro. They had like a broken family going on. Look, it's all, it's all like, it's all like coming back to her for real. She just gotta keep playing that guitar. Trust. I... Yo. Bro, ooh. Oh, this is now after I got shot into the pit. How are you alive, girl? Bro, I saw you go through a bunch of bean pot. Like, yo, people don't usually survive this. <gasps> Cause you didn't fall all the way down. Saved by the damn bell. Oh. Holy. Oh, Jed is gonna hate this. He really thought he got you. Girl, you got saved by the bell. You didn't fall all the way down. Uh, and there's a ladder right next to us. The coincidence, you were meant to live. 
<laughs> you were meant to live. The coincidence of a ladder being right next to us. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's chill. This kind of reminded me of episode one. This is, this is when you had the tight, tight rope across the branch to save you. And we fell. Okay. I... I don't get if listen if Alex comes out of this alive. Let me tell you something. She is her, like for real. Alex, Gabe, I'm good. I'm good. Woo! I'm here. You're I'm dead. with y'all. I'm with y'all, bro. So, lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say a hospital. Dr. Okay. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez Who's injured though, y'all? Yep, definitely a hospital. Gabe. <laughs> okay, here's what I do know. Okay. You got to explain something. You're 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick. So is our father. It's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Okay, so I gotta play a 10 year old. Okay, okay. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. This is the childhood trauma y'all were talking about, bro. It's coming. It's here, bro. Oh my goodness. We're good, y'all. We're going to get through this together. Go check on your mother. Okay. Oh, my goodness. And the mom, I was wondering what was going on with mom. So she was sick. And I think when he said a different type of sick, he meant dad was kind of like not all up there. You know what I'm saying? So she was this could right all be over there. very genetics, bro. Waiting for me. Oh, my goodness. Let me see if I could find anything. Okay. Gabe? Alex? I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today. And I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom? Are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Ah, uh, please. Different for a little while. But I am going to be okay. I swear, bro. Every time y'all suggest a Life is Strange game, I, I just have to mentally prepare myself, bro. Because, like, this is crazy. I love these stories. I love the story-based choice games and everything like that. But, yo, these Life is Strange games, they get deep, bro. Painting. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. I'm trying to figure out what that's supposed to be. Like, but uh, all right, cool. It, art is art, you know what I'm saying? If mom looks crazy behind these curtains, bro, I, bro, I don't know how I'm gonna react to this. Hold on. Mom had rip. Oh, <gasps> bro. I was about to say mom had red hair. Like she dyed her hair red, but I just peeped. That's a bandana over her head, bro. No. So was she sick with cancer, bruh? Dude. Bro, cancer is no joke, y'all. That stuff is scary, man. Especially, like, seeing your, your loved ones go through it. Like, that is not it, bro. Dad's overnight bag. How many nights did Dad spend in this room? Sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners. Gosh, tissues. There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, like we might be losing mom, but he's also losing, like, the love of his life, bro. This this is the woman he had his children with, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it hurts too, bro. That's a, that's a different type of hurt. This is like, they've probably been together for years, bro. Decades, bro. And this is your, you seeing your loved one like this? After having so many different types of memories with that person, bro. Like, you had two kids with the same person, bro. Two kids. And on top of that, bro, everything that, like, 
like up to your kids, bro. All the memories. Oh my goodness, I know dad is going crazy. Hi, mom. I just want to know what she's like. I want to confirm what she's sick with. Oh, mom. <coughs> <coughs> Mom. Mom. Bro, nah. Such bro. a brave girl. Nah, bro. I would hate to see my mom how like this, bro. Get so this brave? would kill. Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Wait, I just try to change. Ow! Gabe, why? I so I made anything. up a fake memory <sighs> about what happened? Prob. I would say, yeah, when she was younger, she didn't want to, she didn't want to, you know, believe something. So she kind of, she changed it in her head. Alex, go check on your mother. Oh my goodness, bro. Why you keep okay. saying bro? Oh my goodness, bro. Stop making me relive this again and again, bro. Oh my goodness. I don't want to see my mom in the hospital bed, bro. Oh, my. Wait. Did I miss something? What did you miss? Do I got to go back in there again? Hold on. It's replaying. Yeah, it's like literally replaying everything again. I think I missed something. Did I have to, like, look for something else? Was this water here before? No I don't even remember if this water was here. Mom drank. Her throat was always dry. Let me, let me talk to her again, y'all. Maybe I missed something. Maybe there was something that I missed. I don't know. Hi, Mom. Or maybe Alex missed something. And now she's going to find it this time around. Or they might replay me again. Who knows? <laughs> <coughs> Mom. Mom. <coughs> water, not... Alex. Get her some water. Oh. Okay, so it didn't replay again. This is something really different. And I knew the water was supposed to play in the mix too because I didn't see that before. So yeah, let me get the water from mom. Cool. There you go. Sometimes, I get it. Sometimes the throat gets so dry, bro. You need a little, you need a little sip. I get it, mom. I got you. I got you. That might be, that might be Thank all you, you needed. Yeah, I got you. You almost never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? Ooh, that line hit. Whoa, that's a, that's a good line. That's a good line right there. I got to snap to that one. That's a good line. That's a good line, bro. Holy, that just hit. Yeah. That one hit, bro. What she give me? Oh, she's crying. Shh. No tears. My strong girl. Whoa. Oh my goodness. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. Oh man. You have to be strong. <laughs> We would do that, Alex. Dude, Alex is doing such a great job, though. Like, she's been through so much, y'all, but she's handling herself. She's handling herself very well. Very well. I know it's tough, too, bro. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? This game looks good, bro. Like, I would watch this if this is a show, bro. <laughs> this game looks so good. Oh, sadness. Whoa. 
Okay. What else y'all got for me? Where am I now? Wait, where are we now? This place look kind of different. Are you good, Alex? What's up? Wait! Okay, so I think it's Halloween, but I think this is our childhood home. Yes, it is. It is. Oh my. Oh, look at that, bro. Shoo shoo. Gabe's get the fuck. Was that the last time you talked oh, to her? Oh, shoot. Oh, my goodness. Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? What? I, yeah. I think you would, Gabe, right? what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. Oh. Oh. That's why mom was like, yeah, they gonna need you. This is going to suck so bad. No way, y'all about to, they about to go at it, bro. Play your part. Please stop telling me to do that, bro. I don't. I do not want to play this. I do not want to play this, bro. This is the part I will, don't want to play. This is crazy. Hey, but that's why she always carrying around Shushu, bro. Cause Shushu was there when she needed someone the most. Shushu was there, bro. That's why music is such an important role. Bro, that's why music plays such an important role, bro. Like, in this entire game, bro, music is just so important, dude. That is cool. That's cool, though. I mess with it. I mess with it. It sucks that, like, that's, that's a way for her to, like, you know what I'm saying? But music is always good, bro. Oh, my. I like how the headphones drowned everything out, though. Oh, and that's the piece of mom right there that she keeps close. That necklace, man. I get it. Ooh, they gonna start? They gonna start punching? Okay, I thought they were gonna start punching down on each other. I'm like, okay, we might have to break up something. I don't know. They they trying to kill each other. Alex. Hey. It's okay. It's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? Bro, see, I knew she changed something because she did it with her mom too, bro. Oh, what? What? It must have been something bad, bro. If they were arguing like that and that was, that was something that she made up in her head, bro. Nah, bro. It's got to be worse now. It's got to be worse. What it actually happened, this has to be bad, bro. This has to be bad, bro. She didn't even put music on. She actually... It was my job to keep the peace. What? But no matter what I did... It just wasn't enough, bro, huh? That's crazy. Water stain. We got a pile of bills here. You know dad is stressed. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. File box. It was full of greeting cards. 
Mom kept every single one we ever got. That's drinking, drinking, you know what I'm saying? Jeez. Business cards. Hey, Gabe. I'm Leslie Halloran. I'm from the Oregon State Child Protective Services. We got a call from someone who said there might have been some kind of fight here last night. Is your dad home? Oh. Oh, gosh. You know what? We were... Yeah, that, that was like, uh... Hey. Rehearsal. When CPS play, come to your school, door, y'all? And my dad, like, it's he was, bad, um, dude. Helping me learn my lines. It's bad. CPS? Hey. Must I mean, some play. I mean, like, they Did don't play at all, bro. They do not play, on. bro. Okay. Bro, if they come to your door, they already got a case on what's going on with you, bro. Like, a case has already started. So, if CPS at your door... G jeez. Photograph of mom and dad up I there. I can't believe they were ever this happy. Dang, bro. That's crazy. Ashtray, dad smoking, Cleaning smoking. Dad's ashtray was not my favorite job in the world. Yeah, dad was going through it. He was he was on some different type of timing, bro. I think as soon as Diana mom died, to hold on to you. a little should. piece of him died, which I get, but he just, I don't know. He, he's a ticking time bomb now. Uh, shrine. We got mom's shrine up here. Let me see. I'm checking everything, so y'all. hard to keep my promise to her. I'm going through everything. Wait, I just peeped. Our beds are in the living room. What? What is going on, bro? Why are we in the living room? We can't, we don't got rooms? All right, y'all. Let's, uh, do what we do best and break up this fight. Like. Where are you going? Are you going to tell her? Or is that my job? What? Keep your voice down. Fine. Tell us I'll what? do it. Alex, dad lost his job again. So we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. Dang, pops. Despite what you may believe, you do not know. What again? Everything. You think what? I laid myself off. It's OK. Oh, he got we'll laid off. Out. I could. um. I don't know. Dad. That's tough, bro. But what are we supposed to do now? We got to eat. We can sell some records, or or what about my guitar? We can sell that. Alex, She's trying her best. What is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? She's trying Your to defuse the situation. You now. I don't want to hear about mom. Babe, <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. Oh. <gasps> uh, oh no. Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I, I, I didn't. No. Dad, Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. Dad about to crash out, y'all. Hold on, Dad about to crash out. I can't do this. Oh no. Dad. Oh no. What's he doing? What's he doing? Did he just pack a bag? Wait, what? Is he kicking Someone's us out or is he leaving? That woman from CPS. Is he leaving us? Someone. Or he's kicking us out? Both are bad, but he's leaving? Dad. I'm sorry. My man packed himself a little bag and said, hey. I'm out. What? These are kids, bro. You just left your kids like this? Dad! Oh, no. Come on, Dad. Like, let's all just talk about it, bro. You know what I'm saying? These, these are your two kids, bro. Come on, man. Don't do it. Don't step out that door. For real, y'all? My man packed, like, some pants and a shirt and called it a day. He didn't pack no drawers or nothing. Like, what do you... He left us his entire crib. Where is he going? That's crazy, though. That's crazy, you, Mr. Chen. That's wild, bro. Shushu, stay near me. We always keep Shushu by our hip, bro. Right by our hip. We always keep him. 
John Chen, return to sender. Wait. Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. Wait, were those letters letters that I sent to Dad? And he sent them to. back? No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. Alex Chen, nah, done. bro. It's not your fault, Alex. I, I promise you that, bro. Mr. Chen, bro, yet. what the f Dude. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, Ooh. come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Yo. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. Oh, no, bro. No one. You are alone. So that's how they got this. separated like that? Alex. Because he went to juvie? Play your part. Oh, come on, bro. Stop, please. Do not tell me to play my part. Every time you tell me to play, play my, my part, part, I just hate it. Med chart? God. They put me on so many meds. Dude. Hold up, bro. Look at what they had Alex on. What? I can't even pronounce that. That just sounds crazy. That looks crazy. Hold on. I got, I'm got, I got to educate myself, bro. I got to see what that is. What is... Hold on, Plum. Google, what is this word? Aripiprazole. Aripiprazole. That's what it is. That's what it is. It did say it can treat schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, depression, and Tourette syndrome. Bro, the aripiprazole isn't the only thing she was on either, bro. Look at all the other stuff. Did any of them ever work? Oh, shit. Some of them helped. A little. None of them fixed me. <sighs> In their yeah, defense, bro. The it only suppressed empathy it, isn't bro. exactly in the DSM. Crazy. Barred window. They used to say this place wasn't a prison. That's crazy. Well, maybe they were trying to keep you safe. Guess so. They could make it look a little Whatever bit better, the reason, bro. The end result was prison bars. Looks like we're in it. It's literally a cage, bro. It's, this is all literally a cage. This is not a place you want to be for real, y'all. This is not a place. They just stripped your humanity from this place. Like, they, they, they're they literally treating... I, I get why, though. Like, I understand, like, there's people that are uh, very, very dangerous to themselves and to other people. But it's like, dang, bro, everyone has to get treated like this? Wow, dude. Let me see this letter to dad, bro. These are I letters to dad. I was right. Stupid. And he just sent them back? Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. Hence, stupid. Dang, what is this, guitar strings? Got some anger behind it. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? Yep, I told y'all, bro. That guitar means a lot We've to me. We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. Dang. Bullshit! I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. No, you can't do that. that's not the best idea for Alex. I'm not gonna lie. That's gonna send that probably that probably would have sent her down a spiral, bro. Cause that right there, you took the one thing that like gets her through a lot of her you know what i'm saying her little her little episodes bro i don't know bro it's like you took something very very precious away from her you know like and that's like her escape and once you take away her escape now she's like she's just permanently trapped that's crazy shoo shoo give me some how history on shoo shoo can't believe how long you've had that thing shoo shoo that shoo shoo would never betray me was my only friend after you left right come on gabe you know i had to have somebody Basketball? Was that a hooper? They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. 
Whoa. Do you really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? Rules? I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cuz fuck you. <laughs> hey, nah. Dormitory rules. One, residents must adhere to their assigned schedules at all times and are not permitted to loiter in the dormitory outside of designated free time. Two, glass and silverware are to remain in the canteen. Do not bring these into the dormitory. Three, non-resident guests are not permitted in the dormitory. Four, lights out occurs at 9 p.m. every evening. No music, no TV, no screen time after lights out. Failure to adhere to any of these rules will result in disciplinary action. All right, yeah, bro. This is definitely a prison, bro. This is definitely a nice way of saying uh, prison. Graffiti? I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie Sally. We're never getting um, out of this fucking place. Something with an S? Holy, they were friends at first, kids. right? These are kids talking Way like this, y'all. Remember that. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Holy. Just like everyone else. Okay, nice outfit. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? kind of think you already know the answer to this that. This is question. literally a hospital gown with uh with like like some type of like I don't know. It looks like a belt, but it looks like just one of those things you put around your waist. Like it's not like a belt belt, but it's like you tie it, you know, like a string or something like that, but like a like a thicker, like a thicker uh wrap around, you know? But this is definitely one of those gowns you get at a hospital. All right, Gabe. Let's see what's in the Foot Locker. Can't wait to see and and get traumatized even more, bro. Love it. Love it here. Life is strange, bro. Love it here, you know? This really is strange. It's getting strange now, bro. It's getting real strange. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! Bro, they got me up here like I'm an, on an auction, bro. Like y'all, y'all see this? These are these are these are adults. She's been like through so much. Parents. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. Dude, that's crazy. And what they're okay? Sister, they all she's nervous about me, bro. Sensitive. They're scared. What is that? They're scared of her, bro. <laughs> Bro, they're supposed to get me parents, bro. But the way that, that they describe me to these parents, they make it sound like I'm the, like the child of, of hell, bro. Like I I'm the devil spawn. Never found a home before. Dude, y'all supposed to make us sound all peachy. They made me sound like I'm just pure evil. Okay, we did that. Did that. We gotta do. Okay. I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? Bro. This is the kid that's been in all those fights. See? Right? I want to help. See, it's the narrative y'all really put do. on her, bro. The narrative <laughs> is bad. So the parents not they don't want to deal with that, especially if she's 18 Broken. and she and she's mean, bro. Like, they don't want to deal with an 18-year-old who has no manners, bro. Like yeah, it gets to that point. It, it get like that, though. It really do. It really do. She didn't really have, like, a way to define herself, bro. She always got these labels put on her, you know, throughout her entire life. She couldn't really have, like, her own personality because it was always placed on her, bro. I get you, Alex. Don't worry, bro. I'm, I'm there with you. I'm there with you, girl. I'm, I understand. I've been playing you for, like, five chapters now, so I, I completely get it. I get it. I get what you're going through. I'm sorry. Shoot. I'm not Why? playing these games. Shoot. You need to see it. There's more? See Don't what? tell me to play my part, bro. Then nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Dang. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us. You were 11 oh, you were years young, old. Though. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's not, that's not your responsibility. You were 11 years bro. old. You were, you were a kid, a kid, Alex. There's nothing you go. could do. People leave. 
she blames Life herself for that. For not being able to keep Sometimes everyone together. Sometimes it's a big together. shit sandwich. <sighs> Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. Mm. No oh one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Mm. Fight. Fight, girl. I'm Fight. not sure I... You no. have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. Oh boy, oh my goodness. It's not over yet. Come on, Alex. This is the final stretch, bro. We still gotta fight. We still gotta fight. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh my goodness, Gabe coming like that, bro. Like, hey. <laughs> you got some, you got some work to do. It's time to go. You can't give up now. Like, oh my goodness. Oh. Make the world bright, bro. <sighs> All right, cool. We good. We good. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. This boy, this boy Jed Jedediah Lukin has to go down too. We got Typhon and Jedediah Lukin. Bro, y'all know what's crazy? I've been thinking too. Imagine me like romancing with Ryan and his dad is like a villain to me, bro. The blue cat. Hey, that's what that one. That A. Hey, she She's smart. She's like, hey, I'm so glad I found this in the chest. Hey, that one light is going to light, bro. It's going to light your path. <laughs> That's Gabe talking for real. That's Gabe right there. Gabe helped you out right there. He left one match, bro. One match for this this whole situation. I mean, he probably he obviously didn't know this was going to happen, but just in case. It's one of those just in case matches. But no, nah, I was saying like <laughs> if Ryan, if I was romancing Ryan, it would be mad awkward. If if we found out Jed was, you know what I'm saying, a bad person. Like, that triangle would be crazy. That would be something out of a soap opera, for real. All right. Let's see. We light the path. We find a way out this mine. Take down Jedediah, Lucan, and uh, Typhon, bro. But I'm going to need some help. I'm going to need the homies for this one. Everyone, share your energy with me with this one. Because this about to get hectic. This ending is about to get Good. I'm just surprised at the fact that you're still going, I've got girl. To find a way out of here. Like, dang! And there goes the broken ladder that uh, that I was missing. Didn't you get shot? Where's the bullet at? Like, oh, she's probably holding it, right? Okay. This whole place has been abandoned, bro. Mines growing into mines, just like Jed said. We gotta find it. Like, I need to know more about why Jed is the way he is. Like, why did he turn out like that? Why he do me like that? You know what I'm saying? That's not. That's not cool. That's not very Jed of you. You know? Wooden sign. Safety first. Yeah, right. Pickaxe. Cool. The heck, bro? I just want to see Jed's face when he sees that I came back to life, bro. I came back, bro. <laughs> he gonna see me and be like, huh? Yeah, it's like that. I'm up there with you, dude. He has no idea what's gonna happen. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. no. Come on, no, 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 no. <laughs> Alex has gone through a lot, bro. Holy. You got it. You, I believe. Shoot, I'm playing as you too. We, we both can do it. We can do it together. Shoot, believe. I'm gonna get you through this, girl. One way or another, I'm gonna get you through it. We're gonna get that justice. Okay, that's something. Hold up. Is she seeing aura? Is is she allowing aura to to guide her as light? That aura is the 
only lead I've got. Bro, Alex. Al like, I swear, bro, after chapter, like, three... She started surprising me with the stuff that she could do with her with her powers, bro. Like, who would have thought to like be guided by Aura? All right, boys, getting close. Hell divers for life, huh, Jed? Hell divers. Dig so deep, down. we see where the devil sleeps. It's Goddamn game, right. Huh? This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. We're about to see why Water Typhon bit moisture in this soil. Jed, what was Typhon burying? This stick is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dick this deep before. We finish the job. Hey, this is a different type of Jed, bro. I've never heard him steady sound goes. so. Steady goes. You know what I'm saying? Steady. Fuck with some. Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel. Did the Who's tunnel flood? Jed. Fuck. Jed. Jed. Oh my God. Wait, Jed left them? We gotta move now! There's Yo. still men back there. They'll oh, drown. Wait. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, oh, let's go left. now. Okay. Dang, bro. <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. Oh, there's some aura in that rubble, bro. Hold on. We about to find something. We about to find some some type of hidden lore. That's what we gonna do, bro. I love using that word lore, by the way, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, hey, <laughs> lore is is a cool word for saying stuff that's back in the day. You feel me? Wait, 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 wait. Why is mom's necklace? Wait. Is my dad in there? Say you swear on everything y'all love right now. That dad, dad, dad is dead. Dad, come back. Dad, you son of a bitch. Wait. Jen, you gotta stop, man. Jen! Fuck you, Jen! Come back! And we never knew our dad it's died. Okay, Jen. He's not coming back. Bro, pain I'm after sorry. pain after pain. I'm so sorry. Dude. Y'all see her face? Y'all see my girl Alex though? Alex got vengeance on her mind. She got vengeance on her mind. Y'all see her face, bro. It's over. Hey, it's over for Jedediah Lucan. It's over, dude. I promise you, I'm coming for you, dude. It's, it's gonna be so bad. You did this to the fam. You did this to the fam. Okay, I've been waiting to blame somebody. I've been blaming Typhon, but hey, Jedediah Lucan? It's over for you, big dog. It's wraps. You're cooked. You're cooked. Let me tell you. We raise our drinks to Jed Lucan, who at the location on this... Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Yeah, put that shit down. Put that down. We about to put this shit to rest. Jedediah Lucan, you're going down, buddy. This ain't yours no more, playboy. This is all mine. I deserve some type of reparation. Some type of reparation, you feel me? Plum. I want the bar in my name. I want everything Haven Springs. I want and an entire statue with Alex here, Chen in the front, bro. I've come to realize what makes Haven yeah, we got so this special. Clown. We got it's this a flower clown. shop. We've been wearing the same suit for five different chapters, baby. A bar owner who greets every customer. I have yet to see name. her change the fit. It's a spring you don't got festival that like tradition. A, like a turquoise, Going back like you don't got a different type years. of blue. The fuck, like history, loyalty, and it's funny because we got we pride. we got everybody here listening to her These speak values, though. These values, which define Haven, are the same values that Typhon was built on. I just, I just can't wait. Alex, bust through that damn door. 
And that is why our Bust partnership that door. has been so successful. Well, they like, where's Alex at? Where's it's Alex? Don't worry. I'm on my way. It's going to take me a minute, Typhon's though. Typhon's commitment but I'm on my way. to Haven. We believe in this community, and we're tremendously excited for its Look, future. brainwashing. This is a cult. This is a cult, Thank bro. Thank you, Diane. Nah, fuck all I that. Fuck that thank you, Diane you. stuff. When I don't I care, Jedediah. To make this official. That's not even your name, so, bro. I'm, I'm folks, disrespecting you by calling you Jedediah. And lunch. Gagged him! We just gagged him! Y'all see that? Both Jed and, <laughs> and Diane, bro. Gagged the hell out of them, bro. As you see, I am not dead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm I fine. got some things to you are say. Not fine. We have I to got some doctor. stories. Nah, listen. Everybody take a seat. Take a damn seat. Take a seat. I got some things to say. Look, they 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 over there. Look, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna be okay. Don't but worry they not. About me. They not. I'll be okay. Yeah. I got something to say to you, Ryan. Alex, Your daddy in cahoots. Nah, Steph, hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. We're gonna talk about it, but I got something to do. I got something to do. do. You need help? We can Man. call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. Diane, if you don't get your s and so Ooh, I'm about to. Okay, I'm about to crash. Don't look at me like that, Alex, Jed. Alex, what's going on? Man, fuck you. I'm on that type of time. Nah, Eleanor, you gonna want to hear this? What the hell happened? You gonna want to hear this? Watch this, y'all. Watch this, bro. I was Say down it, in the mine last night. Yup. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Yup. I'm business. I'm Jed all about Logan business right now. Hero. That whole story is a lie. It's a lie, y'all. Yup. I'm calling Jed him out. caused the accident. Yup. And then he abandoned seven of his men. Seven. And guess what? He let them drown to see Guess himself. what? Guess who one of them was? My there father! pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Yeah. Because Tell one of those miners was my father. You caught, bro. That's 10K right there, bro. I caught you in 10K. 10K, bro. I've seen every Typhon pixel on wanted your body. to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. Right. And we on that time. They're afraid, bro. They're Everyone scared. Everyone at that company is scared to death. Yup. All they do is protect themselves. I love it, Alex. I so love the bravery. they decided to bury the evidence. Diane, you so cooked. Don't even stand there acting surprised. You know what's going on. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. Four, y'all. Y'all get that? That's how Gabe four. was killed. Four, dog. Jed knew all along. Look at he these two. He covered up the truth about the past, about Look Gabe. Look at these two. We caught them. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. You see this? I don't do this to myself. Y'all have not, y'all have never known me to do this to myself. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Ducky. I helped you out. Pike, I, I, I did what you said. Eleanor, I know you might not be able to remember, but I helped you Why too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? Riley, uh, Charlotte, uh, can I get a team here, we please? Don't want to embarrass you, Alex. I'm not embarrassed, bro. Try me. Right. I'm not embarrassed, Diane. I'm really not. I'm not. I'm not These fucking accusations with you right now. are. Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous. Why would I want to go into the mine? Do. Why would I want to though? Like, but we all it's abandoned. Sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, I'm wasn't sick he? And tired of I can only head. imagine how you much do. you want an Like she's gaslighting me, y'all. Y'all, she's trying to make Something me sound like I'm crazy. Comfort and. Make your life seem less unfair. Please, please. I need to shut Diane up. I know you have a conscience. You suppress the evidence. I'm calling her out, you bro. You know I'm there's sick. proof of the cover up. Right. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. And I found it, right. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Oh, Dad? we're cooking. Come on, Ryan. There you go, Ryan. You Come on. Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? Come on, Ryan. No. We homies. I don't. He is capping. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe nah, died. he's capping. He's I capping, thought, Ryan. He's I capping. Know. I know it's your dad, bro. I but... hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. No, bro. You not nothing close, bro. All I can guess is 
Sometimes, when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. Is everyone gas? Everyone is gaslighting. You're a monster, dude. You tried to kill me. Right. You put a pistol to How my can back. You stand there and say these things. A Alex? pistol to my back. You're a monster. I like how she delivered that line. Okay, I mess with that. Please. Come on, people. I've helped you all, bro. I know. I've helped you all in some this way, shape, or form, dog. You all trust him. I did too. But I'm telling the truth. Come on, y'all. Put two and two together. I believe you. I was about to say, hey. Of course I do. You my baby, so like I gotta. You have to be on my side, right? It makes sense. What about what about Ryan though? I've helped every single person here, dude. I would like to speak. Please, Ducky, make it. I know you like to be long-winded, but make it short a little. came to Haven short. as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. That's my boy right there. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. Thank you. That's all I'm asking you for. To take her seriously. That's all I'm asking for, Pike. Cause you know, you know too, Pike. Ducky. Pike knows too, y'all. Being unhelpful. Eleanor. Thanks. Sweetheart. Come on, Eleanor. I've done a lot for you. You know, our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is your fault. No, what you no, nah, Eleanor, Eleanor, no, 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 no. It's so hard to admit you need help. But struggling alone. No. You shouldn't have to go through that. Wait, wait. What do, what do you mean, Eleanor? Wait, can you We're all worried about you. Let us help you. No way. Eleanor. Charlotte. Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. Oh! I helped you! I killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I solved the crime! I, I solved the crime! All I know is everything falls to shit when you I involved. stopped you for signing an affidavit, bruh. I signed it. There's something wrong with you. I signed it. And now there's something wrong with me. What? I can't help you. I'm sorry. What? Bro. Somebody. Somebody help me, please. Come out the cut. I'm looking crazy out here, please. How about you? Please. Pike. I heard you out last night. You know the deal. Please. You're a cop. You can do something. I, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Hey, I'm cooked. Just, just give it up. I can't though, bro. There is no justice here. You are a scary ass cop, bro. I spit on your badge. I spit on your badge, Pike. Man. What the heck? There's no way I'm cooked. Where am I going? Ryan, you got me, right, bro? You a bro. Please back me up, Ryan. Dog, Ryan. please, bro. This is you your dad is not I know he your dad, but he's not good, dude. Please. Why are you doing this? I'm not doing anything bad. It's just look at me. It's, it's the my fact that no one gives a not a murderer. Oh my God, I, I get it, bro. I get it. You're you're in Were denial. You we couldn't get Typhon. Is that why you need someone else to blame? What do you mean? I thought we were in this together. For Gabe. We are. Ryan. No. What? I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan. 
What the? What hell? are you talking about? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Right. That's what Why I'm saying, bro. No one notices this? that I'm messed it's going up right now. Too far. It's literally Alex not so. Alex almost died. I'm sitting here with a bullet it's in me. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. Wait, what? I'll put my... I'll put that boy Jet in the domain expansion. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? What just happened? Bro, Alex is pulling out all these new moves. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. Oh. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You oh, want to look away snap. and pretend the people you hurt We got aren't a guilt trip, bro. But I won't let you. Bro, that looks... She looks really good right there, bro. Like, the lighting on her right My there is like... Chef's kiss, bro. His name was They John. cooked with this game. He was a screw-up. He was a victim. He was a fighter. Um... He was a screw-up, bro. He made a lot of mistakes. He made a lot of mistakes, yeah. He wasn't a good father. Right. I think he came here trying to be better. But you killed him. Yeah, bro. Look at you. Do you feel like a hometown hero now, buddy? And then Gabe. My big brother. He was building a family. He was happy. He was starting over. He was starting over, too, because he used Even to be a bad kid. Chance. He was a bad kid. And you stopped him so from proud doing of that. Who he'd become. A great boyfriend. A cool dad. And a great brother, bro. But he Sad. died. Yeah. Look at all the emotions he's feeling right now. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. I feel like if we do this right, we can get him to, me. like, tell on himself, you know? I started to think about the future. I want to belong. I want to play music. I want to help people. Uh, I want to help people. I think that's something that I, I want would to help people. Too. Because. I like helping people. It's something I'm good at. Knowing I'm good at something feels fucking great. True. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Hey, yeah, Jed. Say something, dude. What you got to say about that one? She got you gagged. It's, it's actually crazy, bro. Look at you. He, you can't say a word. He really can't say a word, bro. Oh, look at, her, look at her eyes. It. Haven't you? You've plastered her over eyes keep changing another like that. story. That you're a hero. That you're... Nah, I'm gonna take that hero off and I'm gonna say... I'm gonna call him... I'm gonna call him out for calling himself a good man because you, you are not a good man. Tell yourself you're mm -mm. a good man. Mm -mm. You take care of so many people. Right. I think telling him he's not a good man, a it hits a little more. And a job. You checked on me when I was grieving. Facts. Such a good, generous man. He, he can't say a word, y'all. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? A phony. You're a pawn. You're selfish. You're a coward. You're a pawn. You're a typhon pawn. Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And then you gave your soul to typhon. Mm. You let them tell you how awful it would be for your wife and son to find out. You let them tell you that Haven was more important than the men who died. 
We got it him. It really mattered who you were and what we you got stood him. for. That is killing we'll him Let Typhon right decide for you. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. Yo, he is trapped. He is trapped, bro. He cannot Truth get out. Hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. Oh my goodness, bro. This, this chapter is crazy. When you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. Coming back. I see the truth about you. Oh, is that, look at her eyes, bro. What? You hate yourself. Ugh. You hate what you did in the past. Call him. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. We're, we're more, clocking him right now, you deny that hatred. We're clocking the hell out of Je Jedediah Lucan. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. <laughs> Yo, but I forgive you and I condemn you. Should I give him pity? Should I give him pity? Oh, nah. Y'all were saying, bro, that like I'm a little... I don't know, bro. I feel like, I feel like if I forgive him, it's stronger, though. Like, don't forget what he did, obviously, but, like, I forgive you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had Typhon on his neck 24-7, and I don't think, like, I don't know, bro. I don't want to condemn him of what he did, even though, like, a lot of his stuff that, a lot of his choices, it did kind of backfire, and, and it, it fell on me. You know what I'm saying? I lost my dad, and on top of that, I lost my brother, too, you know? So, something deep down is telling me to forgive, bro. So, I'm going to go forgive. I'm going to forgive him. I'm going to forgive him, bro. And I forgive you. I think that right there is the cherry on top, bro. That is poetic as hell. That is so damn poetic, bro. All right, bro. That is hella poetic, bro. It brought him to tears. Look at that. That whole thing brought him to tears. I ate that. Bro, I clocked him so hard, bro. It brought him on his knees, bro. One knee with tears. I clocked your tea, bro. Look at him. Now everyone's like, what happened? What's going on, Jed? See, when that when that pressure is being applied, you will break. Trust. Trust. And we were applying that pressure heavy to him. I'm not cool with Ryan no more. I didn't like how Ryan uh, handled that situation. Uh, so yeah, if I see Ryan, he will be getting disrespected by me. ...on the Titan mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Oh. Bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover up, which involved the clandestine and unpermitted exposure to board inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody awaiting arraignment. They're not going to free, bro. I hope y'all know that, bro. I hope Ryan understands that, too. He will not see his dad anymore. Maybe y'all could you could visit him and stuff, but he will not be walking around in that in that goofy ass uh button up with them tight pants on, bro. With with the with the heavy belt. Like bro got that bro had that belt yeah. tight around his waist. Worse. I need to get some air. Alright, y'all. After summoning all my <sighs> strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Oh, okay. Pennant, let me see. This is mom's. Stuff. Maybe dad deserved everything he got. But I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. Aww, postcards. After this, what I went oh, through. Oh snap! This is the uh, the postcards we have with Steph. Might not be so bad. That's crazy too. Middle of the ocean, just to get away from everyone. I'm not gonna lie. That sounds so cool. Like that's very poetic, bro. I'm messing with that. Hold on, bomber jacket. Let me see. Oh. You ever swing a pick before, Mister Chen? John. And, Yo, uh, but I, I'm a hard worker, and, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Wow, that's so well, John. Sad, bro. Guess you're a hell diver now. My man 
Bro, dad literally signed his life away. That's crazy. Look at this, bro. Look at this headline. Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the That's really big did, headline. Bro. That's what we did, y'all. Look at this. The Rocky Mountain Gazette. Scandal. Eight deaths covered up by Typhoon Mining. Haven Springs rocked by revelations. The, pish, the, picture, the picturesque mountain town of Haven Springs is reeling after a series of revelations that connection to the death of Mr. Chen, Miss Jacobs, location manager overseeing the expansion is simply unimaginable. What that girl has been through, said Miss Leith. Miss Chen has declined repeated. Expansion efforts halted. Residents are left wondering about the effects of local business and real. See? This is why I try to only read the art sections. Wait. Old and new talent shine at Spring Festival. Editor's note. The following review was filed before the events of the town council meeting the following day. For all related coverage on those events, please see A1, A2, A3, B1, C1, D2, D3, E1, and E2. A surprising newcomer and a three-time veteran joined together to create musical magic under the Spring Festival stars on Saturday. Alex Chen, whose brother Gabe Chen, longtime bartender at the Black Lantern, was killed in a tragic mining accident last month, lit up the crowd. I mean, like, why did they have to put that my brother died? Like, like they didn't have to do that, bro. They could have put Alex Chen, cut the whole part about my brother being a Black Lantern uh, bartender and uh, the, the killing of them, and just put the lit up the crowd with her passionate vocals and powerful guitar. Like, I just don't get why everything that's attached to Alex they have to bring up her brother's death too on top of that like that's crazy it has been a long time since I've witnessed a spring festival crowd dance together with a band like that noted Jesse McPherson local novelist it was transportive Steph KRCT DJ and mainstay on the spring festival stage held down the drums for what the duo claimed was only their first time playing together, including even practice sessions, color this viewer a tad spectacle. The chemistry was palpable. I think I speak for all in attendance when I say here's hoping this is the beginning of a new spring festival tradition that will continue for many years to come. Oh, they were really messing with us. All right, cool. I mean, like, shoot. Next time, I mean, y'all could, like, totally pay us to come back, but if y'all not, you know, y'all not paying, then... We ain't coming back. Plug. Bowed but not broken, Haven will survive. The image of Haven Springs as a idyllic refuge, an oasis of comfort and civility, blissfully removed from the tumult of the outside world was shattered on Sunday. In truth, that Haven never really existed outside postcards and tourism, bored drivel anyway. But while we have weathered troubles and fought demons in the past, we know that this Typhon mining scandal will leave a unique scar on the psyche of our small town. Not just from what took place, horrible enough as those details are, but from who was involved. A young and beloved bartender, a respected mining industry up and comer, and the town's most revered patriarch at the center of it all. Jed Lucan currently sits in San Miguel country prison. He is said to fully cooperate with the police and repentant for his actions. But the harm he has done to this town, to all of us who knew and trusted him over the years, is just beginning to be understood. Still, in the face of this tremendous calamity, we say Haven will survive. We will emerge, if not stronger, at least a bit wiser for having overcome it. We will do this not because it is easy, but because we have no other choice. This is our home. All right, all right, Haven Springs, okay, y'all y'all not folding for real, I mess with it. Let me see what the note says. I'm glad he held on to it, for whatever it's worth. Oh, this is the last note Jed sent us, hold on, what'd he say? Alex, they told me to destroy this jacket after the accident, I couldn't do it. Perhaps some part of me knew that I would one day need to pass it along. When Gabe first stepped into my bar looking for his father, I swore I would one day return this jacket to him. Then I swore I would return it to both of you. I think you know by now what my word is worth. I did not deserve your forgiveness, but it moved me more than I knew was possible. I hope this gift will provide some small comfort to you in the days ahead. Jed, Black Lantern Tavern, bro. That's cool that he sent the, the bomber jacket, you know what I'm saying? He didn't destroy it, at least. I mean, like, I get what Jed was trying to do and all. Like, yeah, that's messed up. You left all those people that you swore you would bring back alive, you know what I'm saying? But you, did, you pushed on too far, bro, you know what I'm saying? And it got to the point where you couldn't turn back. You know, so so you you suffered the consequences. I don't think you did it out of ill will, you know, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Typhon's down, you like like you got the Typhon hush money, and that's what it is, bro. They made you a, a, a hero and you had to live that lie for the rest of your life. Like, that's something you had to deal with, Jed. You know what I'm saying? So, hey man, 
I get it, bro. I, I guess condemning you wasn't all that, but forgiving you, it, it hurts a little bit more. Me pitying Jed, that, that hurts a little bit more, bro. Wait, play interview? I interview. know now that my inaction in the face of injustice was itself a terrible wrong. We got that girl Diane, bro. And I know that I will never be able to undo the tremendous pain and Hell loss no. I Hell no. I'm lost. so glad they booked you. I do not ask for forgiveness. I'm so glad they booked her, bro. The only person who could give that to me is... is gone. Dang. Thank you. There are no victories Yo. at the end of this. Just more painful truth. Facts. Oh, why didn't you repeat the Charlotte sculptures? Wait. Was Charlotte's response all my fault? Or would she have turned on me no matter what? Right. I think, nah. I think leaving her with that anger was uh, something I had to do for her to be on my side for real. Okay, so wait, let me lie down in the bed. Does she have any dialogue when I lie in the bed? Right, get the guitar. Yeah, play some music. Even though you, we might not be able to hear it. But hey, go crazy. We actually can hear her play. It's when she I've been sings. Playing a lot the last two days, trying to think things through. That's her happy place, but bro. I realize it's actually the opposite. When I'm playing, is the only time I get to not think. Yeah. Not think about Jed, or Gabe, or Haven. That's me with video games, bro. Pain, I like the I child. like the escape. Most of all, what I don't That's think my type about of vibe, bro. is me. Because I've never been good at that. And suddenly, it's the only question that's left. Dang. So, I just, I just keep, playing. keep playing, bro. That, hey, that's... They hit with this last episode, bro. What? They eating, they eating down with this one, bro. Hold on. The lines that they gave Alex in this chapter has just been phenomenal. Holy. Lawyer business? Hold on. I need a lawyer? Maybe I do deserve some dollar sign justice. I do. I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. Alex, call me. You deserve justice with the money. <laughs> Yo, Minkowski, Minkowski, and Garth, bro. Shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I might have to keep this. You know, I might have to check in with y'all soon. Let's get one look at my boy Gabe before I'll I go upstairs. I understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. That is a good memorabilia right there for sure that match saved her so much y'all like that right there shout out to gabe man gabe was there all along all right let's see what's upstairs bro hey stuff alex wait before you say anything i have to get this out what what's wrong wait what okay What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. Hey, man, you know me. And it made me want to be brave, too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. Plug, 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 plug. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... No, no. <sighs> Fuck it. I want to stay here. I too. was gonna say like, no, nah, like if you wanted to go, I'm going too. Your ticket, that was amazing. Hey, hey, I didn't tell you to rip it. But I was gonna say, look, you got two. I come with you. You know what I'm saying? Before. Forget yeah. Haven. Shoot. How'd it feel? Ah, uh, at the end I do win though. You know what I'm saying? At the end I win. <laughs> I guess you could call this a W. I had the you last laugh. Giving me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know my answer. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Okay, okay. Appreciate you, Steph. Look, at, she got me cheesing from ear to ear. Look at her. Okay, okay. I like that. W, Steph. I would never leave. Like, I would never leave up here. I would always come up here just to clear my mind. Like, look at the view, though. Like, come on, bro. You can't tell me that view is something to, not something to die for, bro. Like, I would literally love to be there every day. All right. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? 
The night of the spring fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. <laughs> Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. I'll do it. I was gonna say, yeah, I'll stay too. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like Haven, right. like, but the people here are cool. I've like, never had I think it's just like the Typhon thing that was throwing me off friends. and the whole Jed stuff. But Good everyone job. else around was like, they cool to me. Even though they didn't like, they, they didn't have my back now? for real. But I get it, bro. You know, some people, some people fold under pressure. I get it. But this is like home now. You know, it's it's better than running. Then like, again, just stay maybe running. Maybe leaving would be better. I don't know. What? I don't know. It's a good spot. It's a nice spot. You're young. You suddenly have a little money, friends, and don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? True. No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. Now nah, it's gonna be a choice. Do I stay or do I or do Stop I just it, go, Gabe. bro? Uh, I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need I just need my big brother. Oh I'm sorry. I know. But here's something. What? It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. What? Life goes on. Yo, okay, yeah. I I think we should stay. I, I feel like we should stay in Haven. I don't know. Ooh. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. We're work lovers? This gotta be the life. All nah, those years of being a music snob finally pay off. I feel like that's a good idea, just to stay in Haven. And little by little, time does its thing. Oh, snowing now? Oh my goodness, bro. Look at that. Me and Ethan? The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. <laughs> this is hard. Oh my goodness. He came over to play video games? Yes, bro. Love it. Love it. Okay, yeah. I'm cool with staying here. I'm very cool with it. I'm very cool with it. Take that down. Thoughts yeah, we don't of want to Jed, see that. There we go. Of Typhon. Even of me. Oh. Begin to fade into the background. Oh. This place looks so much better, though. I didn't peep all the guns this place had. What? Y'all see how many guns they took down from the walls? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hold on, Riley. Who is that? Yo. No way. Oh, snap, bro. We playing the games, bro. Okay, nah, this is hard. I like this. Ah, look at them. Ooh. I win at the end, bro. I win at the end, y'all. That's what's up. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. I know that makes I know that makes Alex so happy. Oh, what? Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. <laughs> Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. Oh man, life is beautiful, bro. Knowing that we all have our own unique roles and unique or maybe journeys. You never think about that much at all. It just makes life so beautiful, dude. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place, 
just as much as it has transformed you. Yo. Aww. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. It's normal, bro. It's life is life. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Oh, man. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. 100%. You already have. Right, I was about to say. <laughs> your gift. You kind of already started. Your music. Just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Dang. Do what? Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars? Hawking your SoundCloud? SoundCloud? <laughs> Pouring your soul to strangers? Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. Yeah, the only bro. promise is the adventure. That's what that's what it's all about, bro. It's the journey, bro. So? I promise you it's the journey. What do you think? I'm staying in Haven though, for sure. I'm staying in Haven. I, I, I'm already set. I'm already set. Seek adventure, stay in Haven. Um, I feel like staying in Haven is cool. Because like I, I like the vision. I like the vision. It's not, and I don't think you're settling for real in Haven. Like, she could always go out and do her thing, seek adventure. But seeking adventure right now, I feel like, mm, I just like that vision of Steph and Alex working together. Like just everybody chill, everybody being cool. Like the whole Ethan and uh, Alex on the on the couch eating takeout, like. That right there was like was cool, bro. That was cool. They were just chilling, living life for real. So I'm like, you know what? She finally has a home and she finally has a family, and that is something that she's been longing for. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like seeking adventure and seeking like what else you could do, you could always go out later on. But I think like she should stay here and like really enjoy, bro. Take the time to enjoy life. You feel me? I feel like she's been on like a fast forward mode bro like she's been rushing it a little bit and it's time for her to like really cool and level herself out and get to know herself a little bit more so i feel like staying in haven is going to be a choice for me for sure yeah let's do that let's do stay in haven i'm staying in haven y'all i know what i want yeah dang let's stay here bro beautiful spot too y'all beautiful beautiful place we just had some weeds to pick out. That was it. But I'm cool with being in Haven now. Wow, this became like a W uh, ending. I'm not gonna lie, it got peaceful. It got mad peaceful, bro. Like, you can't beat that view. Come on, bro. That view is, is like, waking up to that? Watching the sun go down to that? Come on, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's like, I would never want to leave. I would never want to leave this place. W, bro. W. Wow. Is that it? Is that how my story ends? How'd I do, bro? How'd I do, y'all? How'd I do? Let me know, y'all. Let me know. How'd I do? I think I did all right. I think I did all right. There were some questionable choices I had through the series, but I think we did all right, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's quiet, peaceful. Like, I live in the city right now, so, like, I'm, I'm hearing noise all the time. But this right here, where I could just, like, just hear birds chirping, I'm cool with that. All right, y'all, we got Alex stayed in Haven Springs. 57% of y'all stayed in Haven Springs, and 44% of y'all hit the road to play music. Okay, W, that's what's up. That's what's up. I think, honestly, I can see both sides, bro. I can really see both sides. I just thought, like, since she's been she's been having a hard time finding a place to call home for real, I 
thought Haven Springs was like a much better place for her because she actually had friends there, you know, like people that she could like rely on for like, like it was a family. And on top of that, bro, like she could be with her lover now. Like that's, that's the perfect ending I see for Alex though, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm kind of wondering like what happens if you pick the uh, play, hit the road to play her music though. I might have to go and look, uh, look that one up. All right, y'all, 69% forgave Jed for his actions. Cool. Okay. I at least I don't feel like I'm the only one that did that because I feel like a lot of y'all were gonna like you know <laughs> denounce him for his actions, but 31% of y'all did, and a lot more y'all uh, uh, forgave him. So that's what's up. Alex claims she learned not to fear her emotions. 52%. Okay. Cool. That's what's up. Uh, some of the members stood with Alex. 83%. Everyone on the council supported Alex. 12%. And none of the council members backed Alex. 5%. Okay. So most of y'all had some members. Dang. I know, I know where I messed up where I could have had everyone though. I know for a fact. Alex wanted to help more people in the future, 47%. Uh, Alex took a moment to reflect in the apartment, 35% did that. Alex didn't see Ryan after the vote, 46%. Wait, what? You can see Ryan after the vote? What? Charlotte turned her back on Alex, 52%. Yeah, she did that. Eleanor offered to get Alex help. That's crazy, 50-50, y'all. Dang, so this was a this was a good one right here. Eleanor sided with 50% of y'all and Eleanor offered to get Alex help 50%. And then Pike told Alex to give it up 26%. Why do you bro Pike is crazy, bro? Pike is so wild for that, dude. What a what a coward, dude. What a coward. Ducky sided with Alex during the vote. Ducky messed with me, bro. Ducky messed with me because of what I did for him at that spring festival. That's why he messed with me. Uh, Ryan believed Jed during the vote. Yeah, he got daddy issues. It's cool. Ryan and Alex don't get together. 67%. Yeah, we do it for Steph. Steph stays in Haven to be with Alex. What? Okay, okay, cool. I'm messing with it. Well, there I have it, y'all. Another Life is Strange game in the books. Life is Strange True Color series is done bro i was gonna do the wavelengths dlc but bro they trying to charge me 20 dollars for that because they want me to to upgrade my game from the from the original version to the deluxe version just to play steph's story bro i'm not doing that you know what i'm saying because uh 20 dollars come on bro. like I, I don't know bro like is it is it that good is it that good for 20 dollars worth you feel me i don't know but next video for sure it's it looks like uh the poll said that walking dead was winning here, let me double check. All right, so yeah, um, The Walking Dead Season 2 is winning. 43%, uh, 35% for Detroit, uh, and 13% for The Last of Us. So we got The Walking Dead Season 2, then Detroit, then The Last of Us as our three upcoming games that we will be playing on this channel. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the poll is, as, as I post this video, uh, the poll will be down. So um, I'm gonna let y'all know in the Discord and in the community post. If y'all don't have Discord, check the community post as well. Just to let y'all know that the poll is closed and the next game we'll be playing is The Walking Dead Season 2. W game, bro. I really enjoy Life is Strange True Colors. Uh, I know this game has gotten a lot of downplay on it, but as someone who has seen other people's opinions and actually went and played the game themselves, um, I don't see the the bad about it. I see like the difference from the other Life is Strange, but in terms of a lot of things in this game, I, I don't see how bad it is. Life is Strange 2 will always be my favorite just for personal reasons. Uh, Life is Strange 1 I mess with, uh, but True Colors was kind of different. Like it just, it just kind of hit personally for, I know for a lot of people because of like all the emotions that they go through as well. And I feel like it's a little bit more realistic to when it comes to, you know what I'm saying? It, it's a subtle power that Alex has, but I feel like it's a power that a lot of people can, you know what I'm saying, go through in their own way. Not like, you know, like reading people's minds and stuff like that, but it's an aura that you could feel on people. And I feel like that's something that you can really like, I don't know, like people can, there's obviously people out there that can really relate to Alex's story, you know? So it's just overall a beautiful game, bro. Haven Springs, Colorado, dude, like, man, this is probably the best setting I've ever seen in a Life is Strange game, to be honest. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Next video, we have The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 1 starting, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Thank y'all so much. Stay cheerful, stay motivated, and stay blessed, y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Peace.